Hey everybody, welcome back to Common Sense U4 Multiplayer featuring myself, Northern Line, as well as Quill, Mathis, and Arumba. Say hello. 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 Hey, how's it going? It's going well, thank you for asking. Okay. Alright, that's good. Let's hey. begin. <laughs> Very well. Austria has rivaled Bohemia. That doesn't seem like a fair fight at all. <laughs> I guess, you know, I guess Venice is an alright ally. I probably shouldn't try to kill him just yet. But they, they won't okay. help me attack an, a member of the Empire, so... Dice be kind. Dice be kind. That's a nine roll. That's okay. Five versus three. Three versus ten. Oh. We did it. <laughs> Do you, Yay! I, you still don't have enough war score to actually... Oh, you got another it fort. It is entirely your fault, You got. <laughs> you have another fort to deal with, wow. Yeah, it's 100% Bavaria coming in and, like, being the ultimate jerks. Bavaria has, like, 8,000 troops. How could they possibly cause issues for you? You're probably, like, a, a military tech or two above me. Bavaria is on tech... Yeah, yeah, they are on tech 12. But, yeah, I can see. But now it's basically 100% over. Finally. <laughs> I'm gonna, there's no vassalization being done here. I don't care how long it leaves me overextended. And how much it increases your aggressive expansion? Does not matter to me in the least. This country is becoming my country. It's fair. <laughs> What's the... Um, the uh, formula for like the number of siegers that you need versus the fort level? It's uh, three times the fort level. Three it'll, times the fort level. It'll tell you when you're on the thing. It'll tell okay. you how many you need to siege. Mm -hmm. Pretty sizable army that uh, Cologne has. Not that I'm looking. Not for very long! <laughs> you're fighting some... You're like in a bad position. Because you, you're right next to Burgundy. Yeah, so, well, as it turns out, like, Spain's got eight troops here. Like, what the hell, Spain? What, what's going on? Where's the rest of your stuff? Yeah, like, yeah. The, the war looks, like, really good from your team's perspective, but you're right next to the bad guy, so... Yeah. He's gonna mess oh you up. Oh my god. Discontent again. I didn't have anything to do with my diplomat. What? The ultimate level of disrespect. <laughs> Are you ever gonna finish your war? I've been, I've been, I have a mission. Maybe to... if I didn't have the <laughs> threat of rebels hanging over my head, I could tech up in military and finish the war faster. No. <laughs> I've been hoping that you'll finish the war because I'm trying to improve relations with Bohemia for a mission. But if you full annex them, they won't exist anymore, so I won't have to wait a year to like reset well, my mission. Well, maybe I'll just leave one province alive. Well, if you do that, that's fine. Go ahead. Feel free. Oh my god, as I harsh treatmented them, the rebels popped. You are not, I, I'm gonna, you may get great comments on your own videos. There are going to be people who are very ornery about this situation, I can guarantee you. Really? As I click the button, the rebels pop. I don't think so, Tim. And these are just peasants, too. Oh, and they took your capital! No, you, that's, you... um, in a way it's actually okay, because they can, like, siege it for me. Oh, uh, yeah. If you if you wait until they're close to taking it, and then you kill their army, you can take control of their siege. That's my thinking. Yeah. Oh, Poland! I love when the rebels pop, and then Poland just comes in and crushes them. It's like, basically, a country I don't like that much is sucking up your Diplo points and freeing my country. Like, it just saves me so much hassle. Hooray. Like, you're weakening your own ally. I didn't do that. I mean, I did send a guy. I wasn't like intentionally. Peasants mean nothing. They're really weak. Pardon like, me. <laughs> they are. They have really low morale compared to the other types. The nationalists and the separatists, they have bonuses to morale. The peasants have a penalty to morale. Quite frankly, I'm content for this war to go on as long as is necessary. Just gives me more time to rack up these admin points so I can core Bohemia faster. 
Oh, apparently, uh, Quill, is this the same event that you had? The secularization decision? Uh, it's not... No, I didn't have an event. I saw there's a decision for it. No, it's at Admin Tech... Admin 20. For me, there's a decision at Admin Tech 12 called secular, secularization. Oh. Uh, you just yeah. have to have two stability, Admin Tech 12, and I can change to an administrative monarchy. Okay, I have that, but it's 20, probably because I'm Catholic. Could be, yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I, I just, I like the fact that I get free generals every time, and I, it's fine. I like being a theology, the theologian, whatever you call it. Theocracy? That one, yeah. Oh, that is not, oh, that's not a province there. I misread the map. I gotta stop playing so far zoomed out. I actually <laughs> can't see the landscape. Uh, inflation's no good. Is it the gold mine? Yeah. It adds up. It's, it's not insignificant. Johann Sigmund denounces the Church of Prussia. It's about time somebody did. Lose church power, gain prestige. Lose prestige, gain church power. Or just lose prestige. So you're not going to switch to Reformed, Mathis? No, I put too much work into Protestant. <laughs> God, I'm halfway Protestant just because of these centers of Reformation and I can't convert anything. I'll gain some prestige and lose some church power. Oh, and now things are becoming uh, Reformed because of the Reform Center. What's my religious unity at? 51%. But now with more than one religion. <clears throat> Finally, England shows up with some actual fucking troops. Jesus Christ. Ah, stupid comet! <laughs> <laughs> if only we had comet sense. Oh, wow. <laughs> I do like that line, though. That's pretty funny. Why do I have a fleet maintenance cost? You must have a fleet. I have z I have zero fleet. Fleet maintenance? How much are you paying? Um. Hover over the number. It'll tell you like what your fleets are. Oh, so. sorry. Fort maintenance. That's very different. Oh. <laughs> yes. I agree. That is different. <laughs> hey. Mathis, why don't you have any allies? Ryan forced me to break my alliances. Oh, God. That is so bad. And Wait. nobody will ally me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That sounds like a request for some sabotage reputation right there. <laughs> <laughs> well, lucky I'm busy. Actually, I don't want any of your stuff either. I still sort of feel a bit bad that I took Stata from you last time when I said that all, all right. I wanted is Magdeburg. People just poke in. They're like, we're going to declare war on you with 17 countries for one province. You, Ryan... You got a problem? Speak softly and carry a big stick. It's just like, there's so much to have to take care of that I'm like, just moving my mouse back and forth for no reason. Like, okay, what do I have to click on next? Ah, crap. Okay, fine. Don't you oh, have man, enough is... war score yet? I'm amazed. Yeah. This is, this is way too much aggressive expansion. Oh, for crying out loud. Are you going to full annex him or not? Good. I need to pause for a moment here. As you might expect, one province here would take all of my um, all of my admin points. So this is going to be a journey. Uh, the coring, yeah. Yeah. Nope. Nope. That's okay, Hungry. We don't have to do that. An alliance offer from the Papal State. It scares me and excites me simultaneously. Really? An alliance offer from Savoy. 
the man on lawful territory from Venice. Now that I'm I'm uh, back here, people actually want to be my friend. But if they only knew, <laughs> they're gonna be it's gonna be a lot of work for them, isn't it? Yeah. Just support you. This is precisely true. But I love how Castile like I've got friendly allied troops ignoring a combat that I'm in that I would just. I'm just about to win. They're just walking by, and I'm gonna lose it now. Like if they just walked in there with like two extra infantry, what the <laughs> hell? Cast or Castile, Spain? Why are you such a shit? This is gonna be another one of those rage. That was ridiculous. I mean, the war is gonna be fine. We're gonna win, but that was stupid. Oh man, I do not like seeing this uh, discontent here. National I... unrest is not really where I would like it to be. <laughs> it could be anyone. <laughs> There's so many, so many countries, so many, so many diplomats. How do you know who's doing it? Yeah, which one? Which one could it be? I wish there was like ways that you could, you could directly influence stability in a country or something. Um, you're. I mean, you are indirectly doing it, but come on. <laughs> You're pretty much directly influencing my stability. Well, the stability's tied to like ruler deaths and and maybe random directly, events. Directly influencing my sanity as well. <laughs> That's what you get for making me wait a month to play E4. I was not only one week of that. It doesn't matter. You were the last person. Uh, you you accept the full responsibility as far as I'm concerned. This is nonsensical. <laughs> Blame NL. I think there's a hashtag for that. I was even back on the last uh, Friday, but you scumbags are like, oh, I probably can't record at midnight my time. Like, oh, all right. Some of us, you know, treat this as a job, but I guess not everybody. At what point at any job are you in the office at midnight? Uh, freaking night shift janitor. Do they have an office? Yeah, man. The closet. <laughs> the sanitation closet. <sighs> this is scary. What, you gonna have a you can have a rebellion or something? I, I might have like a hundred rebellions. Yeah, you got Poland though, right? You just have Poland protect you. Yeah, I think they might office. walk in, yeah. If I can just if I can make it so one rebellion fires at a time. As long as is Bohemia doing anything? Nah, they're fine. Actually, my, my national unrest has come way down <clears throat> now that I've uh, lowered my war exhaustion. So Saxony now has 270 development. Cologne wow. is at 258. Prussia is at 187. And what yes, but this is like saying, 60. hey, that guy's mm -hmm. going to be very strong because he just ate a huge meal. You got to give the meal time to digest and the body to convert the proteins and sugars into muscle tissue. As of right now, I'm just bloated. <laughs> I, I feel ill. The meal was far too large. Oh, no way. Mines has been discovered while conducting support rebels against us. <laughs> this is a massive surprise. He's already back. Hello. <laughs> well, we are neighbors. Doesn't take him very long to return, right? That's weird. So, I'm not allowed to support rebels against you, but... That has nothing to do with uh, sowing discontent. I don't know why. I mean, I'm not sowing your discontent, but if I were... It's like I, that OJ book, If I Had Done It. Yeah. <laughs> you know well, that um, the, uh, the Goldman family, like the family of the victim, won an injunction against him, so they got to design the cover of the book, so they put if in like really, really tiny font <laughs> on it, so it just looks like I did it. And then they get all of the uh, the proceeds from the sales as well. Oh, amazing. Which is probably, I mean, if he did it, is the way that it should be. I'm sorry if that was controversial. <laughs> no, no. I can't believe you said that. Oh, jeez. <sighs> Apparently they wanted to get uh, OJ to play Terminator. 
in the first movie. I could have seen that, yeah. But they didn't think that he'd make a convincing bad guy. <laughs> that is, uh, that's a good story. I mean, he's actually, like, really funny in the Naked Gun movie. He's hilarious! Yeah, it's, yeah. it's quite good, actually. It turns out, like, you know, a person can be many things. Yes. You know, just because you may or may not be a murderer, that doesn't mean you're necessarily a bad actor. That's right. Man, Spain took over all of southern Italy. I think that was Aragon. And then they merged. Oh, right, because they used to have Naples under yeah. PU. <laughs> yeah, I think as soon as the PU like integrated, they instantly became Spain. There are only eight princes left in the empire, by oh. the way. <laughs> wow. I'm getting uh, light fluctuations here. I think there might be a storm going on. Just a oh, warning. Oh, no. Or a moose attack. <laughs> <clears throat> so you killed one of the electors. There are only five electors now, four of which are us. <laughs> nice. So we can just make whoever we want, whenever we want. Oh, we could have done that from the start if we had worked together. True. And we did. Now, it looks like Austria is going to win the next one. Saxony's voting for himself. Hmm. Why not? So I'm, I'm, I'm going to vote for Saxony. I'm voting for France. Please do. Oh, please do. Do you have a mission? I've got big plans. All right, there you go. <laughs> sort of like reverse collusion because it actually doesn't help me at all. It helps you by showing this guy he can't push people around with his freaking spies. Well, he still can, but he'll be punished for it. Punished by whom? The Emperor. The Emperor has never stopped me. <laughs> he can at least annoy you, though. Slight frustration. Exactly. Yeah. It's, that's worth it as far as I'm concerned. Man, it's going to take me like a month in-game. Well, like a month of videos to get all these uh, Bohemian provinces scored. You took a whole bunch of land when you didn't actually have the admin points to core it? I couldn't get the admin points to core I mean, I took Berlin for Mathis. That was like 290. And then, these Bohemian provinces are super expensive. Like, uh, Prague itself is 290 again. There's some, some nasty provinces here. Hmm. Who wants to be my ally? <laughs> Everybody who doesn't hate me on the map is already my ally. So you're saying you're low on allies and you want me to sabotage your reputation? I am saying I have fantastic allies. You can spend your Diplo points doing whatever you want. You could also probably just use your army to attack me, but uh, I'm not going to let you push me around with, with idle threats, you know, make it a reality. You know, I just realized I can do something that kind of counter like makes that it makes up for the fact that the support rebels thing is complete nonsense if i right. if i infiltrate administration i can just look at every province and kind of like add up the numbers myself <laughs> which is horribly horribly stupid but i actually have the ability to to do that i forgot about that uh, spain what are you doing oh ai This is going to put me so far behind on admin tech. <laughs> I don't I don't care. I care a little bit. Well, there goes my my rival with the platinet. Never did get to beat up on them, did I? All right. Well, before Quill gets all pissy here. <laughs> ah, there oh, we go. Oh no. Arumba's declare me as a rival. Well, I had to, according to Quill. Um, now according I to the rules we established in like the first video. They weren't rules, they were more a set of guidelines. Now I should expect acts of, you know, clandestine aggression. I'm prepared for this momentous change. <laughs> 
Oh, I'm just gonna keep doing the same thing I've always done. You know that. I'm aware, yes. <laughs> Just you wait until, like, 1561, when these cores finish. <laughs> then I'm gonna spring back stronger than ever. Oh, hey, at least there's no coalition. All the princes are gone. That's why there's no coalition. Yeah, the HRE is gonna just disintegrate at some point. Well, shall we? Uh, yeah, let's yeah. put a cut in this. Yeah, we should. I was I was lost in math temporarily. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. Check out our Roomba's uh, subreddit for the view link. But for now, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye bye. See you soon.